Hi everyone and welcome back and this video is going to be important. In the previous couple of videos we are writing uh, the test cases using uh, React test library. Now in this particular video we are going to test the API testing. Okay let's say you have event and using particular hook you are making API call or while submitting the form you are making API call and submitting the data waiting for the response and then updating the state based on that. Okay. So it's a simple API form. What it is doing is uh, you have a submit button. On submit we are calling forms a uh, form on submit and in the on submit we are going to make a API call. Okay. So what we are going to do is first we will make an API call. So we are going to write API service which will have a simple method which is going to hit some uh, mock APIs which are available online just which are giving us the dummy data like to do's and all these things okay and then we are going to write test for it okay so what we are going to do is we have handle submit method in the handle submit method we are going to make an api call okay so how our handle submit would look like so this is our handle submit in this we are going to make an api call so let's say we first of all we are writing api service so i have created api.js folder and in this we can create a simple method export async function name is get data let's say and we are passing post title so whatever you are filling inside a form and then co const options request options and which is like method is my post headers are like content type application JSON and all application JSON and the body body is response dot I mean we can stringify this JSON dot stringify and we are just going to pass the title okay this is our options for the request and now we can just simply say const response const response equal to await we can simply use fetch and there is some url right so what we can do is i have mock url available i'm going to hit that this is the url i'm hitting and i will be passing options and here once this is done this is a fetch right so we can return the response okay so this is our simple api call we have created now we are just going to call this from our component this is the api service we already have so in the api service we are going to call this so this is a handle submit e dot prevent default so we can say okay i'm calling this api using await and i have api service already imported dot there is a method get data and i'm passing state dot post in the state we have post and message right and here we are going to check if response dot okay if everything is fine we are just going to call set state I mean, we are going to use this hook and we will set the message posted successfully right and the post is again now empty because the previous post we have posted now you can see this component is asynchronously talking to a particular service okay why oh, it is showing still okay everything is fine now we are going to our test case okay and here we are going to do a lot of things first we have imported our component right now here we will start writing our test case now the first question is how do we mock this api call right what we are doing is we are importing this api service api service from import everything as 
API service from dot API this is our call now we need to use just mock utility okay what we can do is just dot mock and you can just pass this API this is going to do rest of the things this is how we can do the mocking of a particular module okay now we will write our test okay home make, makes a API call with proper params okay and this is going to be async so let's create async this is how we are writing async uh, test cases okay so what we need to mock first of all this just dot mock so we are going to mock the api service mock dot there is a method get data here we are going to mock it so there are different methods are available like uh, um, let me see mock resolved value ones mock return value ones so we are going to use mock resolved value ones because this is a promise and i have written something wrong mock resolved value one so when we look into the documentation of mocking you can mock a function and can return some value okay and we are resolving the the service call with this data okay now rest all we can copy from any particular test case what we have written because same utilities we are going to use and we will modify it according to our need okay so the mocking is done now we are going to just use get by text get by label text and we can also use debug from render for this from this component so this component is this we are rendering it and we are getting all these things now get by label text we are going to use because uh, we need to get the input right input field and we need to click on submit button so we are getting input field based on the body okay and then we are going to get the button so this is input field and the button where we are going to click so this is submit button and submit button we are going to get through get by text this is get by label text right if you see this html form then you will, you will understand so here this is our html form what is this okay this is our html form you can see here we have body as a label and there is a button input type submit right so we can get the button using input type text or input type label this is we are going to get okay so now going to our test cases so here input get by label so this will give us the input text field get by text post this will give us the button button element right now what we can do is we can use the fire event first of all we will populate some data in the text field using fire event dot change event and input field this is our input field in which we are triggering the change event so we can simply pass the target and here we have value and the title is let's say simple sample title okay this is the value and now submit button here we are going to do the click right so fire event again on this submit button fire event dot click so this is the action we are taking this is little slow and we are doing a fire event on the submit button that's it right so it means you have submitted the form 
now what you need to do is you need to check that have you actually made an api call right we have already mocked it so api service we can just check that this particular service method has been called or not right like spy dot get data to have been called or not to have been called I mean it's not coming auto complete to have been called uh, times also like how many times this method has been called it should have been called once right and called with this method is taking an argument right which is a title so this has been called with sample title and this is to have been called with this is how we uh, spy on a particular method of a service and then we can use simple await vtpis this we are already using and do nothing okay so this is the test case which is mocking a particular service call http call maybe because api service we don't know what is written inside this we just know that on submit method is calling this particular method get data right so we did a mock and we are saying that once this is going to call it is going to resolve this promise with this value okay true right so once this okay true is there our state is also getting changed so we can also check that once this is done our state is having the correct value or not right the the post uh, again become empty and there is a message which is saying that post successfully those test cases also can be written here it is simply doing uh, get by text get by label and you can also do the debug on the button this is how we do but there is no use case of this this is how we do the debug we are calling get data this have been called once and have been called with this value because we are passing the post title here if in so here we are writing service so in the same way now it is being called from the on submit method but this can be independent call this can be independent call means you you might be calling this from the use effect hook maybe from the component did mount maybe from anywhere else the mocking is still going to be the same we are mocking the module and then you just mock that method and say okay well i am already doing the mocking and this method is going to return us this value after once this is resolved so when i run this now this test case is passing i think there was some mistake i did i mean it should be it should not be you are calling and mocking this just a one property you are mocking from the api service okay so now we are able to uh, execute the test case and it is passing now the next thing is we are going to talk about is what if you have you are using react router dom and you are using some kind of a provider in your code right in that case you can't just directly uh, access the state in any independent component right so let's take a look on uh, on how to test the redux with react component in the next video thanks everyone